YouTube. Today I'm at this incredible boutique resort. This place is called the Rawi Kanaya Bangkok Wellness Cuisine Resort. The check-in procedure was nice and friendly. It was pretty fast too. Here's a bit of history. Right here in the lobby, they have this shrine. And over here, you can see three kings. Um, right over there, we have King Rama the Ninth, the late King Bumibon. And this over here is King Rama the Fifth, and then King Rama the Sixth. And every morning, they pour a brandy for the kings because King Rama the Fifth really enjoyed his brandy. This is the garden area of the resort and I was told that they can even arrange to have your wedding in this area, which is quite nice. So we're waiting for them to set up our table over here, right next to the pool. And we're gonna have some lunch before we actually go and check out our suite. You have to be careful though, when you walk here after the rain, it's quite slippery on these bricks. Good chips, and this club sandwich looks good too. This resort was the house of the governors of King Rama VI and it's been here for about 150 years so too is ah this tree over here behind me that tree is 150 oh, there we go that tree is 150 years old and this property still belongs to the thai royal family so the resort actually rents this place from the royal thai family as for the accommodation in the resort, the resort has 36 rooms and two suites and we got the best suite. And our suite is ready. Let me show you what this suite looks like. 3103, this is our suite. It's called the Tewet Suite and it's easy to remember because this is the only suite which has its own courtyard as well as a jacuzzi. Let's go have a look. It's not a very big suite, but it does look nice and cozy and it seems like everything is nice and clean. I do like the whole colonial kind of look. They decorated the bed for us because we are here to celebrate our wedding anniversary. Nine years. We have a desk with a chair, a nice big bed, some more comfortable seating here. There is no wardrobe, but this is where you're going to have to keep your clothes. Complimentary tea and coffee. I dig these cups too. And also complimentary water in the bar fridge. And apparently you can ask for more if you need. The kettle is right over there. And let's go check out the bathroom. They already ran a bath for us. Ah, and it smells good, really good. We have a shower and a bathtub vanity over here i like these lights they're pretty cool toilet and from here you can see our jacuzzi the bathroom is quite nicely stocked i can see bath towels hand towels face cloths hand soap and inside here and the setup of this bathroom really allows you to sit on the toilet and Enjoy the view of your courtyard. You could really use this bathroom counter over here as a bar and use this window as a serving hatch and <laughs> serve drinks through here to your mates in a jacuzzi. So that's basically the whole room. Let's go have a look at the courtyard. This is the entrance to our suite and courtyard. So you come through that door over there 
Uh, we have a nice little table down here and some more comfortable seating. And of course, the reason why we chose this particular suite, the jacuzzi. There are a couple of cool features in this room. Um, the coat rack is a welcome addition and uh, even the keys, they come with this little key holder and it's not every day you have hotel room key that looks like this, right? Everything is key cards these days. And also I like this tie writing behind me. There's also an in-room safe and uh, there are two gowns and they actually have slip slops, yeah, not slippers. Oh, by the way, word of warning, there are a lot of mosquitoes here, so make sure you have some mosquito lotion or mosquito spray. They do have available at the resort, so you can always just ask them, but I would suggest you put some on as you arrive immediately. We kind of forgot about it, we were too excited. We even have a couple in our room too, which we're gonna have to make a plan with before we go to sleep tonight. Also watch out for bird droppings, um, it's a beautiful leafy area as you can see but unfortunately there are some birds and there are some droppings, I got some on my camera bag already so be careful when you sit out there and have your meal. Now back to this courtyard of ours, it's hard to believe again that I'm in Bangkok right here in the concrete jungle, it's beautiful. It's really, it really does feel like we are in some tropical place. It feels like I'm on an island somewhere like in Koh Chang. If you look around you, you can't really see much in terms of other buildings because there's so much greenery and trees around you. So it's easy to forget that you are actually in the city. If it's privacy you're after, then I would totally recommend this suite. Um, it's nice and private. People cannot see into your courtyard and there is a room above us, but there are no windows on this side, so nobody can even look down. I would totally recommend this Thai afternoon tea. Green tea. And if I'm not mistaken, you're supposed to pull this whole thing out, leaf and all, and shove the whole thing into your mouth. Mm. Wow, that's good. Really nice flavors. And this is a Thai dessert made of flour and coconut and coconut milk. It's sweet kind of creamy, but not overly sweet. The resort also has a variety of meeting rooms with capacities from, I think it was 40 to about 10. They have them all set up all around the resort. There's one that's particularly quite intimate and that you can also use for a nice private dinner. Let me go show you that actually. I think they said they called this room the casino room because of the round table. So imagine having a nice dinner inside this room. This over here is the biggest meeting room they have and this is right next to the swimming pool. This is a shrine which they made and it's right against this 150 year old tree. So the legend says that there's a child spirit that roams the area. So that is why they provide toys to appease this spirit. The resort also has a small fitness center. Uh, so hours are seven o'clock to eight o'clock. Let's go take a walk and see what is right outside the resort on the main road. There are many street food options, little pop-up makeshift Thai restaurants along the canal. It's a nice atmosphere, really nice place to go and have dinner at night. And there are many food options around the resort. And that's how we collect garbage here in Thailand. This is one of the things of Thailand that always amazes me. The fact that you can have so much garbage piled up here and then right over here people are having dinner. This is one of my favorite things to do here is uh, eat barbecued meat. Looking for a bit of a high. This over here is, I think it's called betel nut. 
it's a it's a thing that you chew, um, and these over here are cigars. They are Thai cigars. There are a lot of government buildings in this area, so very nice photo opportunities. Uh, you can certainly see some really nice and uh, historic buildings. Busy making some friends here. People want pictures wow. with us. having a look at the room service menu and I think the prices are a bit on the heavy side. Masaman curry, chicken, not even beef, uh, which is what I have here. It's going to cost you 300 Thai baht. I'm rounding off. And a Tom Yam Kung, which is a pretty common this year. It's going to set you back 415 Thai baht. There are a couple of Western dishes too, appetizers as well as desserts. But looking at the food, it looks good and um, they even give you two pieces of chicken. Usually we only get one when we order Masaman out on the street. And as for the taste, well, let's see. Mm, it's good. Good flavors. The hotel set up breakfast for us right here in our courtyard this morning. Let's go see what they have. This is quite a breakfast. Uh, we got some salad, poached eggs, mushrooms, cheese, spinach, orange juice, milk, water, cappuccinos, cut fruit, there's some congee, toast. Well, that was a good breakfast. We didn't even eat all of the food and I am really full. As for the sleep last night, the bed is very comfortable. I had a really good sleep. The bed moves around though. We tried to set the brakes a couple of times, but uh, it didn't quite work. So I'm gonna ask them and see if they could do something about that. You can't sit up in bed and put your back against the headboard and watch TV because the bed slides out from under you. I guess we don't have the best weather. We've had a lot of rain here in Bangkok recently, but I think if you were to come on vacation and have to have weather like this, this would be the perfect place because it really adds to this whole jungle kind of feeling. But again, I have to warn you about the mosquitoes. Seriously, you have to be prepared for the mosquitoes. Bring mosquito spray. And if you live in, if you live in Bangkok and you have one of those mosquito rackets, bring that too, because they don't have one of those and we could really use one in our room. But um, otherwise, the mosquitoes stay away if you have mosquito repellent, so you can ask for that here at the resort. The staff here at the hotel are very nice and anything you want, you can just ask them and they'll do it for you. My contact here, Mr. Paul, is always ready with some good information about this property. For instance, the 150 year old tree I showed you, it says that apparently, because this property still belongs to the royal family, if you or if they want to trim the tree, they can't just go ahead and do it. They need to actually submit a request to the palace and get permission to trim the tree. Unfortunately, this is my last night at the Rawi Kanyala and I'd like to share a few final thoughts with you. The staff are absolutely fantastic. They are so, so friendly. When you arrive at the resort, the entrance seems kind of underwhelming, but once you pass reception and you get into the garden area, it all just makes sense. It is wow. It just looks so beautiful. The bathtub is pretty nice it's not big but it's big enough the shower is very very nice there's great hot water like really hot hot water and the plugs I did mention that there aren't many plugs in the room that is true I did discover more plugs in the bathroom too there are four in there also the Wi-Fi here is 
very, very good. I measured around 56 megabytes per second download speed and the upload speed varied from about 16 megabytes per second up to about, I think it was 36. And it's time to check out. This was definitely a very good choice to come and celebrate our wedding anniversary at. Thank you.